I'm Sasha Salinger here at the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure with none other than Jeff Gross. Thanks for joining me. You're welcome, no problem. Yeah, so Molly's Game is this new movie out that's sort of gotten this really big excitement from the general public about high stakes cash games. Yeah. And I know you're no strangers to high stakes cash. How did you first get into it? Uh, just playing kind of worked the way up and then a couple good opportunities, took a shot and uh, go to a regular game and then there's been a couple times where I've played bigger than normal so I've had some experience at some really high stakes cash games and you know it's been it's been fun it's like one of those things tournaments high stakes tournaments they're in, they're exciting but playing that high stakes cash where like all times you're playing for a ton of money could be on one hand you could be all in it's uh, it's a different feeling so let's talk about the highest stakes you've played but generally what stakes do you play in a general cash game uh, so the typical cash game I'll play is, it's 50, 100, or 100, 200, sometimes 200, 400. There are straddles, and it can get kind of out of hand. So the biggest game I ever played was 1K, 2K, no limit. And, um, you know, I've lost, I, everyone can remember the biggest pot they've lost and, and won, of course. So, you know, I, I have uh, memories of both of those. All right, so do you, Spill, what's the biggest pot you've ever lost? Uh, so the biggest, actually the biggest pot I ever lost or won were the same person. It was to Bill uh, Perkins and one, the biggest one I ever lost was with pocket nines on a king nine two uh, rainbow flop and we got a lot of bets in on the flop and Bill had top set of kings and I had a set of nines so um, you know we ran it uh, several times and didn't get any back. That one hurt. Um, the biggest pot I ever won was Jack's to his 10-7 on a 10-10-5 turn five river jack board and that was 1k 2k no limit so that was uh that was a that was the biggest pot i ever won wait what did all the money get in though on that on the river oh, yeah that's so good. you revered him good yeah it was you know it's all right that was uh, again he got me it's it was back and forth so it's okay all right tell me a little bit about people who don't know what like running it more than once means yeah, so running it once is a way to take down the variance. So you would, whether if it's all in preflop, you would do two full boards. If it's on the flop, you would see a turn in river two times. So there's a more of a chance you could split the pot. Great, that's awesome. Now, uh, I know you play, you know, Michael Phelps, Bill Perkins. Who's the best player you've played against that's not a professional poker player that sort of surprised you? Oh, that's a good question. Um, man, I'd, I'd have to I'd have to think about that. I mean, Mike is a really good poker player, so he's. I think people wouldn't think that he knows so much about the game. He is a he is a good poker player. Um, you just caught me off guard. I actually don't know. I don't know who I would say is someone like undercover really good. That's a it's a great question. I'd have to think about. Well, I know that more. like there's like people like Paul Pierce that play that like not known for like not being the best at poker, but like the most fun to play with. Right. And maybe someone give me someone who's like really fun to play with, doesn't care, like you know, does like double straddles at a high cash game. Uh, geez, let's see. Actually, you know what, I will say, I'd rather say who I think is better than, than worse, I'll, you know, to say a you fun play. Sure. I'll say uh, Bobby Sura plays. He was in the main event this year. He plays some high stakes cash and, you know, he's he's got some game. He knows what he's doing. All right, I like that. So you just blew up a spot now. So if you're at a table with Bobby Sura, you better watch out. Now, last question. You do play a lot of high stakes. You played uh, the 50K here, right? Yeah. yeah. How is it how do you have to change your game when you're like registering 50k you bust and you have to go register like a smaller buy-in tournament do you have to change your mindset at all you know not, i think you have to just understand what you're signing up for like the 50k one day event it's a turbo you know in those type of events um you know you sell pieces do swaps take some have action sold out like it's not like i'm just like oh here's 50k let's hop in and go for it like all my money and i think that's sometimes people you know this that's almost like a, it's sort of like an ego that tournament it's a lot of really tough players it's super quick like you know you could be out in an hour 30 minutes with the blind levels how they are so it's just one of those things where you know i think you have to be realistic what it is what you're trying to do uh and then sell accordingly or or you know, get get a certain deal on the type of tournament. Like if I were value wise, I would say that's not one of the better value tournaments. I'd much rather play some 25k, like two, like the three day 25k here is an amazing tournament that you get to play. You get a lot of a lot of time to make decisions, and it's a really good uh, purse. So I would prefer to play that for like more of a value. The 50k is just kind of like, all right, let's get to it. Let's see if we can get to a final table. Big money up top, and it's a really quick and painless. You're either either in or you know you're either out or you're in playing for a lot of money. Do you like turbos generally, or do you generally like having a bigger stack with a slower blind levels? Uh, I think I like to play, but I do. You know, I like deeper structures. It is. I think the blind levels, if they can do kind of change it where it's faster early and then it gets a little deeper, those are cool. But you don't see too many of those, so uh, 
Yeah, I mean, I just love poker. Honestly, I love to play whatever it is, cash game, um, turbo, regular. I love, I love to play. I'm here. I'm enjoying it. And I'm in the 3K right now, you know, having a great time. So we'll see, see how it goes. All right. Well, of course, good luck in the 3K. And if people want to follow you online, you have so many avenues. Tell them how to follow you online. Yeah, it's uh, Jeff Gross Poker across the board. And on Twitch in particular, whole cards face up on a short delay on Poker Stars. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. And I get to live interact with you. So hope you guys get to check that out. All right, he's such a blast, so definitely check him out, interact with him, and uh, stay tuned to PokerNews.com.